Hey, I'm Brian. And I'm Steven. And we know you want to be confident in the purchases you make for your space. That's right. Specifically with audio consoles, there are so many amazing options out there with a bunch of cool colors and lights and knobs and faders, but we have a very special product here uh, to show you. So Brian, tell me what we're dealing with here. What is in front of me? This is the Allen & Heath Avanis. It's a brand new desk just added to the Allen & Heath line, and I am so pumped to show you guys. Well, right off the bat, this thing looks amazing. It feels incredibly sturdy. Uh, Brian, just, just tell me a little bit about it. I mean, obviously I've never seen it before, so dive in. So the new Avanis has been great. Uh, they have the C-Class and the S-Class consoles, and this is a nice hybrid. Uh, boasting 64 inputs mixable at one time with 42 outputs, uh, completely assignable how you want. If you want 42 auxes, go for it. Um, featuring two 15-inch touchscreens, the faders feel great, a fully metal exterior housing, which has been awesome, a ton of extra I.O. card capabilities. Uh, it's just honestly super impressed with the desk. So obviously, this is going to be the right selection for some people. What problems is this going to solve uh, in my venue if I want to install this desk? So the cool thing about Avanis, like I said before, is the expansion slots. So whether you're using their built-in I.O. and they have tons of options, uh, it offers two expansion slots on the back for you know your waves processing. Maybe you want to hook in your Dante network, or maybe you need to stream that to your broadcast. Um, whether you're using it for monitors or front of house, offers a ton of user customization. Um, the lights in the underglow, so that we don't have any any above light spill, uh, has been a really neat feature that I love about it. The uh, and it's just as easy to mix through. It's just touchscreen enabled. You're getting through, and you do what you need to do. Okay, Brian, so take me into a channel. Um, just walk me through it. I'm <laughs> I am far from an audio guy, so show me how to use this thing. No problem. It gets as easy as it gets here. Literally selecting the channel you want to deal with, going through its options, whether it's the preamps, filters, gates, EQs, even allows you to use inserts, whether they're internal or external, if you really want to put some outboard gear on it. Going through, literally just a touch screen tap away, or you can use the big knob functionality. Gotcha. Right through everything. Gotcha. So so tell me a little about, you mentioned effects, but tell me a little about what's on board here because I, as a distinguished front of house engineer, I don't carry any outboard gear with me. So, which is okay. With Avanis, right now we currently have it set up with just eight channels being used for effects, but is capable of doing 12 stereo effects all at the same time. It's as simple as going through and selecting what kind of effects you want to use going through the library, assigning it, and moving on. Name it what you like, and go back to where you were. There it is. Awesome, awesome. So uh, you mentioned monitors in front of house. Is this a good desk to, to use specifically for one of those or both? Or, or tell me a little bit more about like auxes and sends and things like that. So the console actually allows you to do a lot of neat things with the customizations and through the utilities to set it up. Um, currently, I had this set up with just uh, half auxes and half the things you would normally use, like DCAs to get around to subgroup all your gear out. But as far as auxes, it's pretty simple. Once you have your inputs pulled up and you have your auxes laid out and available, you can press mix and go through any of your sends with just the knobs. You can also assign it via the uh, the gains on or sends on fader control. Cool. So like a lot of other traditional desks, it offers the ability to to go through that pretty easily. Yeah. Um, the desk also offers 128 inputs and 128 outputs all on the network. So whether you're dealing with a few inputs here or there or multiple stage racks throughout your facility, mm -hmm. you can pull in the 64 you need to get your job done that day. That's great. So. If I have multiple engineers or multiple artists performing, I can have different scenes, I assume, or show files. Tell me about that. Absolutely. So just like your other consoles, you know, you have your processing, your routing capabilities, your I.O. Uh, scenes are the same way. Set up your artist, set up your uh, your show file, and you're ready to go. I know you guys might be asking yourself, what else can I connect to this device uh, and make it more applicable for uh, my team that's using it? So tell me about a few of the other features. So the I.O. cards available for the console include Dante, Matty, Fiber, as well as Wave Sound Grid, uh, which I know Waves is ever so prevalent, especially even in live or uh, broadcast capabilities where you just want to mix it down and get the right sound for your facility. It also offers the ability to connect to their ME system, which is Alan Heath's 
personal monitoring system that you can network throughout your, uh, your, your church there for your stage artists, uh, allowing up to 40 channels to be selected to mix, uh, which is probably one of the biggest amounts of channels for personal mixing I've ever heard of. Yeah, I mean, you're putting monitor guys out of work now that you're getting into something like that. I, I hate to do it, but in a church world, it makes a ton of sense. So in those scenarios, uh, being able to have that option is, is one of those things that's a, a great back pocket uh, uh, trick to keep in mind. So normally, Brian, I'd ask you, and we'd maybe talk about some artists that are using this live or some churches that have put it in their building, but if I'm not mistaken, no one has this yet. Is that correct? It is a relatively new console. Uh, it took us a while just to get ours. Uh, so we are super stoked to be putting this in personally with the IPS integrations uh, at a church in town. Uh, but hopefully we can add you guys to the, uh, the next case study. That's awesome. Well, I, I absolutely love the visual of the console. The screens are super high res. Uh, it seems really easy to use. I mean, if you can explain it to me, you can explain it to just about anybody. So appreciate your time. Love the new product. Thank you guys for checking this out. Remember to follow us on social media at IPS.live. We'll see you next time.